Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash, and, uh, welcome back to another reaction video. Sorry, for some reason, I don't know why it took me a little bit of time for me to know what I was going to say at first. But anyway, back with another reaction video. So, I'm going to continue where I left off with the Mortal Kombat character voice comparison reaction videos. I still, unfortunately, did not manage to do WWE 13 Altitude Air Mode for the Wii today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. I had positive beliefs I was going to, but I got kind of carried away once mom came home today at 2, you know, from work. I was just continuing to do my thing, and then we were watching YouTube videos together that I completely forgot about it. And I did also forget to call uh, the manager from the Red Oak Whataburger about, you know, seeing if there was any chance I got the job or not, or if they're, they're busy and whatever. But we'll remember to do it tomorrow so we'll hopefully do it tomorrow and maybe hopefully tomorrow maybe i'll start the series the wwe 13 altitude air mode gameplay series i don't know but sorry you guys i really had belief that i was going to but i just did not but anyway without i could still at least do at least one video for the day and that's me well for the night should i say because it's already like 9 36 so this is the only video I'll be making for the night, so it didn't, in tonight's video, it's only going to be one Mortal Kombat character voice comparison react video, so yesterday I did three, which was uh, Quan Chi, Shinnok, and Shao Kahn, so I figured if I'm doing some more villains and doing some of the bosses, you know, I figured that probably for the next villain, or the main boss of Mortal Kombat, well, he's not really usually mostly the main boss, but he is like a sub, a mid boss who's like the second to last boss, you know what I mean. But anyway, it's none other than Goro. Goro is usually always like the second to last boss in certain Mortal Kombat games. You know, pretty much uh, Mortal Kombat 1 he is. Uh, Mortal Kombat 9 he was. Either him or Kentaro. Uh, Goro kind of is almost like the mid-boss sometimes in Mortal Kombat Armageddon as well. You know, there's always a boss character that gets in your way. Um, a boss character that gets in your way before you fight the final boss, Blaze. And sometimes Goro's the mid-boss as well. Uh, I'm, is there a few other games where he's the mid-boss? Wasn't he in Mortal Kombat 4? I forgot. Was he in Mortal Kombat 4? I think he was, wasn't he? Yeah, so I think maybe he might be in the game. I don't know. I can't remember, but was Goro in Mortal Kombat 4? Let me know in the comments. I think he was, wasn't he? But I can't remember. But anyway, you get the point. So we're going to check out Goro as the next character for Mortal Kombat to do voice comparison reaction videos too. So this is a pretty short one, only 2 minutes and 11 seconds long. We shall see who's going to be up on the list for favorites of Goro. So let's see who is going to be up there as my favorites. But before I get into it, let me go ahead and be right back. I'm going to get a drink. Alrighty, I'm back. It took me a little longer than expected because I was checking on my cats at the same time. But without further ado, I don't really have much to say about Goro other than he's just another classic Mortal Kombat character. Pretty much the classic mid-boss of Mortal Kombat in the first ever game. He never gets old either. You know, Goro's got... You know, pretty cool moves. You know, he's got the full arms. That's what makes him dangerous. And, you know, he's just a relatively awesome character. You know, he's got some pretty powerful moves that can probably annoy you if he performs them on you in certain Mortal Kombat games. But <laughs> Goro is just a classic. But anyway, without further ado, there's not much left to be said. Let's go ahead and just get this out of the way so I can just uh, chill for the rest of the night before I go to bed. So let's go ahead and just get this out of the way, shall we? So... Let's see who's going to be up on my favorite list for Goro. Let's do it. So like John Cena and Triple H would always say, your time is up, my time is now, it's time to play the game. Let's go ahead and do this, shall we? Goro, voice comparison in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. That was perfect timing almost as well. Heck, yeah, of course. How the heck can you not go wrong with Kevin Michael Richardson from the 1995 Mortal Kombat film? I've said this from time and time again. Out of all the live-action Mortal Kombat sequels they've made so far, the 1995 Mortal Kombat movie was the best one of them all still. And then my second favorite, which I think is the second best live-action Mortal Kombat sequel, was the 1998 Mortal Kombat Conquest series. Them two, I just think, were the top two best live-action Mortal Kombat sequels so far. Everything else had just really hasn't been doing too good, like Mortal Kombat Legacy 1 and 2, Mortal Kombat Rebirth, or even the 2021 Mortal Kombat movie. I mean, Mortal Kombat Annihilation was good, too. It took place after the first Mortal Kombat movie in 1995, but, you know, the original movie is still the better. But Mortal Kombat Annihilation worked, too, in some ways, you know. But anyway... 
Kevin Michael Richardson. How can you go wrong with this, man? I will always love him best as the Shredder from the 3D animated Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show in 2012. And I still love him a bit as Trigon from, two th from Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. Or especially when it comes to the movie Teen Titans Go vs. Teen Titans, where they finally collided the two different Teen Titans series together. And there's a few other voice roles he's done as well, and I did mention before that I did also love him as Goro, so why the heck can I not go wrong with him as Goro here, man? When I found out that Kevin Michael Richardson was the man behind the voice of Goro in this movie, I was surprised, but was but really kind of made me like the guy even more, you know what I mean? I ultimately ended up having him as Goro as like probably one of my top three favorites. You know, when it comes to like every voice that Kevin Michael Richardson, of course Shredder will always be number one, but you know what? Goro would probably have to be either my second or third favorite role for him, you know? Probably second, because you know what? I'm really getting more used to him being Goro than I am with Trigon, you know? Because I'm, I don't really watch Teen Titans Go or Teen Titans anymore. Well, I never really have ever seen too many episodes of Teen Titans, but Teen Titans Go, I don't really watch that much anymore. So I'm really getting a lot more used to him as Goro than I am with Trigon, you know? So... Goyle is probably like my second favorite voice role for him. I'm sure there's plenty of others he's done too that I just don't remember, but Shredder will always be my number one favorite, and Goyle would have to be like my second favorite for him, so can't go wrong with that. And the one thing that was so awesome about this movie was the animatronic that was made, because if you guys didn't know, Goro was actually an animatronic in this movie, so this picture you're seeing from him right now, this is actually an animatronic of Goro. I discovered that when I watched it, I think it was the Fast Pass, uh... Fast Facts YouTube channel, where I think they talked about rare video game animatronics, and I think uh, they made a part one and part two. I didn't finish the video last time when I was rechecking out part two after the one where I had the Sonic animatronic involved. I have to believe the Goro animatronic was mentioned in the second one. I don't remember, but I think Goro's animatronic was mentioned in it. Let me go back and review. Okay, I'm back. Yes, yes, it was. Apparently, because I left because in the vid when I previously watched the video, I left off with the Sonic animatronic after they got done putting the s after they got done talking about the San Sonic animatronic that was number three. Apparently, I ended up pausing the video or ended the video too soon because the Goro animatronic from the Mo Mortal Kombat 1995 movie was up next after Sonic. So, yeah, I ended the movie. I ended the video way too soon. I really should have kept it going to see because there was only two more left, but I just ended it way too soon. But man, I should have kept it going because the Goro animatronic was right up to Sonic. But you know what? Maybe I'll finish the video after this is over. Maybe I'll finish the rest of the two animatronics that were included in the video right after I get done with this reaction video. But yes, Goro was an animatronic. I didn't even know it, but they made him in an animatronic, and it's pretty cool. I know it had to take a lot of work to make this animatronic and all the... The, the technology and everything gotta wonder if they really had to put, put an actor inside of there to control the body like a puppet I think they probably did I don't remember but the fact that Gore was an animatronics just really what's impressive about this you know they really brought this character to life with the animatronic it was impressive out of get out and Kevin Michael Richardson's voice acting was absolutely out of the box man so for that reason I will have him as my Gore will be my second favorite role for him and Shredder will always be number one without a doubt because you know I'm in love with that Ninja Turtle show but Gore will be my second without a doubt my only favorite well even though he doesn't really count technically as a live action Gore because he didn't play the character like dress up as him because it was animatronic but but even voice acting kind of counts too so pretty much you could still count it if you want to Kevin Michael Richardson's my only favorite live action Gore okay, so Uh, 
the growl was kind of okay, but it was kind of cringy. The voice talking, though, I didn't really like that, so no, sorry. Uh, that, yeah, I know that was another animated Mortal Kombat film. There was two animated Mortal Kombat series back in the early days. There was this one, Mortal Kombat The Journey Begins, and Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realms. I don't know if those were successful animated series or not. Somebody let me know in the comments down below. Was Mortal Kombat The Journey Begins or Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realms successful series or not? Because I don't hear a lot of people talk about this, so these probably did not work, but I don't know. And yeah, like I said, the growl was all kind of okay, but it was kind of cringy, and the voice acting, the talking just wasn't really that good. I mean, the animation design's actually a bit okay as well, even though the teeth look a little bit off, but it kind of, it kind of, the, the way the girl's face look, it kind of makes me think of Monster, uh, Monster League, I was trying to remember, Monster League. Uh, I know that was an animated series as well, but I mostly love it. Monsters League for the video games it made on the, uh, the, uh, Sega Genesis. There was Mortal Kombat, no, Monster League Hockey and Monster League Football. I love those two games. I'm, I like Monster League Hockey. That was a fun game to play back in the days. He reminds me of one of those, I think it was those Green Goblins or something. I think that's what it was. I don't know what those are, but... It kind of almost remind me a bit of the Moblins from The Legend of Zelda as well, but I think that's what they were. They were goblins, or maybe I was, I'm was i wrong, but that's what Goro kind of reminds me of, honestly. It reminds me of one of those green monsters from Monster League, but... Or Mutant League, Mutant League, excuse me, no, Mo Mutant League. I said Monster League, it's Mutant League. Mutant League Hockey and Mutant League Football. Those Mutant League Hockey was a fun game to play back in the days, but he reminds me of one of those green creatures that were in Mutant League. Uh, that's what Goro's face design in this animation reminds me of. I mean, it's not that bad, but the teeth kind of is a little bit off, though, in my opinion. I mean, even though maybe he does have teeth like that, but I don't know. But like I said, the voice acting didn't really sound that good. The growl was kind of okay, but it was kind of cringe at the same time. But the voice talking acting, though, that wasn't that good, so no, I'm sorry. No disrespect in this guy, though, Ron Feenberg. No disrespecting him at all, but may he rest in peace, so. I remember this happened the last time, too, when there was a certain voice actor that I didn't like as the role for a certain Mortal Kombat character. I gave him a thumbs down, and then, you know, it has rest in peace next to him because he died. I was no disrespecting him, either. I gave him rest in peace, because, like I said, I'm not disrespecting these guys. You know, I'm not disrespecting the, the people that passed away for not liking their voice roles. It's just, you know, I just don't think they were that good. Maybe there was other roles that they were better off with, but... Maybe there was other roles that maybe Ron Feinberg was better off with, but he didn't work here for Goro. But like I said, no disrespecting him. So, out of respect, may, the, may he rest in peace. Who are you? Oh, what are you doing yes. Fortunately, they don't know who the voice actor is, but whoever the guy was that voiced Goro in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, he actually did a pretty fantastic job. He actually had a great voice. If you guys have watched my Mortal Kombat Armageddon for the week, Conquest mode playthrough. There was that part in the when we were getting to the castle, we ran into Goro and we had to fight him. But yeah, whoever whoever the man was that voiced Goro in this game, fantastic job to him. So yes, definite thumbs up. He's Shokan. I am looking for Quan Chi. Have you seen him? He is with the Emperor. I am Goro. I have been ordered to let no one pass under penalty of death. Yes! God, how many voice roles did Ken Laley do in the Mortal Kombat 9 game in 2011? I think this is like the third time in a row, I think, or maybe it's been more than three times that he's appeared in any of the Mortal Kombat voice comparison videos that I've reacted to so far. This is the third time I can remember, but maybe he's appeared in more other ones that I just don't remember, but... God, Ken Laley sure got quite a few voice roles in Mortal Kombat 9 in 2011. Man, but for Goro too? Heck yeah. Like I said, I gave him thumbs up for even other voice roles he did as well. He was up there as one of my favorites for the list of other characters because, you know, anything from Mortal Kombat 9, X, and 11, you know I gotta give double thumbs up and props to because Mortal Kombat 9, Mortal Kombat X, and Mortal Kombat 11, fantastic games, bro. So, you know, anything from those three games I gotta give props to. And man, this is like, like I said, this is either the third time in a row or maybe it's been more than three times, but this is. The third time that I can remember that Ken Laley has appeared in a Mortal Kombat character voice comparison reaction video that now he's going to be up there as another one of my favorites for a character. So, heck yeah, double thumbs up for sure. It's 
really hard to believe he's got so many roles in this game, but he's done a fantastic job as all the characters he's done. Yes! This has probably got to be my number one favorite video game voice for Goro so far. Vic Kao. Or, if that's how you say his name. Vic Kao or Vic Cheo? I don't know. Vic, either Vic Cheo or Vic Kao. I don't know how you say it. I'm probably just going to say Kao. But, I could be wrong, but never mind. But this guy, he's got to be my number one favorite voice actor for Goro in a video game, Mortal Kombat game so far. So, he's my number one favorite pick for animated and video game-wise Goro so far. It's him. Mortal Kombat X. Absolute fantastic game. I mean, I already said that, but you know, you can't ever go wrong with Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 9 or Mortal Kombat 11. Like, those were really, without a doubt, fantastic games that was made, you know, by Another Realm Studios and Ed Boon and all that. They really turned those into fantastic games. But Mortal Kombat X, though, was certainly out of the bomb. The story was amazing. The fighting engine was good, you know, the fatalities were sickening and everything. And even in Mortal Kombat 11, they made that game such awesome, a blast as well. So, you know, Mortal Kombat X, Mortal Kombat X was the bomb back in the days, man. Absolute brilliant, beautiful game. So, I need, so as I said, anything for Mortal Kombat 9, X, or 11, definitely double thumbs up, props to, and they have to be up there as my favorite list is for you know, favorite voice actings for the characters, you know what I mean? So Vic K.O., double thumbs up. Heck yeah. Like I said, this guy right now is probably by far my number one favorite voice for animated and video game-wise Goro. Heck yeah. Okay, now... Although this was everybody in this video, however, when I was checking back to find out as well, so, you know, when I was checking back to, f to look back at that video of Fast Pass, you know, to find out about the Goro animatronic that was mentioned in that video when I was talking about the Sonic thing, I looked back at that as well to find out that they did talk about the Goro animatronic in that video. While I was also at it, because you know how I was asking the question earlier if, Mo if Goro was been Mortal Kombat 4 or not? So I was asking that earlier in the beginning of this video, was Goro in Mortal Kombat 4 or not? I checked back as well, and yes, Goro was in Mortal Kombat 4. And apparently, I found out that Behilith89, the other voice, the other guy who does voice voice comparison videos as well, there's two guys that I check out that have voice comparison videos, which is this guy, Generation West, and Behilith89, who I had to check out a couple of times for Mortal Kombat videos because, you know, Generation West don't have him here on his channel, but... However, I did find out that Behilith89 has got a Goro voice comparison video on his channel, and he doesn't include the Mortal Kombat Armageddon voice actor, but however, he actually included the man who voiced Goro in Mortal Kombat 4. So, before I choose my favorites, let's go check out his video real quick and check out the part where the Mortal Kombat 4 voice actor for Goro appears. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. So we're at Behilith 89s Goro voice comparison reaction uh, video. And now we're about to react to it. So like I said, he's got Kevin Michael Richardson, the man, uh, Ron Finberg, Vic Kao, and Ken Laley, but he didn't include the Mortal Kombat Armageddon voice actor. But however, he did include the guy who voiced him in Mortal Kombat 4, as I said. So let's give a quick watch and listen to find out how the guy who voiced Mortal Kombat 4 Goro, Goro in Mortal Kombat 4 sounds and see what I'll rank him, even though he's not going to be up there as one of my favorite voice actors for Goro, but let's see what his sound like real quick. War has been waged in this realm for too long. We must bring it to an end. I will set aside my differences with the centaurs wow. as long as they abide okay. by the treaty. Sounds just a I little bit different, but it's, it's definitely works it's good enough to make a good Goro voice, so yeah. That's a good voice. Not bad. Herman Sanchez. Sanchez, that's no. his name. Herman Sanchez. Alright, good on you, Herman Sanchez. You got actually good you actually have you actually have a good voice, so yeah, thumbs up for you too, man. The only man that I just disliked for any of the voices of Goro, like everybody was okay, but Ron Feinberg was the only one I didn't like, but that's okay though. Okay, I'm back. So while everybody, so everybody had a pretty good Goro voice, but Ron Feinberg, he was the only one that I didn't like, but everybody else, I gave a thumbs up to. But when it comes down to all of them, obviously, 
for live action favorite Goro, it's definitely Kevin Michael Richardson without a doubt for the Mortal Kombat 1995 film. You know I can't go wrong with that original Mortal Kombat movie. And then for video game and animated wise voice for Goro, it's definitely without a doubt Ken Laley and Vic K.O. Those are my two favorites. The guy who voiced him in Mortal Kombat Armageddon was great too, but... You know, the game is not that good. It's nowhere... Mortal Kombat Armageddon was good in some ways. It wasn't the best game, but it was good enough in some ways. Conquest, was, was, Conquest mode was fun. But Mortal Kombat Armageddon ain't nothing compared to being anywhere near as good as Mortal Kombat 9, Mortal Kombat X, and Mortal Kombat 11. Them three are just brilliant, fantastic games. So Mortal Kombat Armageddon is nothing compared to those three games. So... When it just comes down to animated and video game wise voice acting for Goro, it's just Vic K.O. and Ken Laley. So in total, that's three. Kevin Michael Richardson, Ken Laley, and Vic K.O. Only three picks for Goro. Now, I don't remember if Goro... Goro was in the Mortal Kombat... In the live-action Mortal Kombat 2021 movie that was made last year. But I can't remember. Did he speak or was he just roaring the whole entire time. I know he roared when he was fighting uh, Cole, who was the new character in the movie, but I can't remember. Did he speak to him? I don't remember. I read if he did or not. Was there a man that was voice acting Goro in that movie? And if there was, who was it? Because I can't remember. I don't know. Let me check it out. Okay, I'm back. So, I wasn't able to look it up on YouTube. I don't, maybe, maybe Goro wasn't voice acted by anybody. I don't know. Actually, you know what? Let me look Google and check that out. Okay, I'm back. So, after looking up on Google, there, yes, there was a man that voiced Goro in the 2021 live-action Mortal Kombat movie. I don't know, like I said, I don't remember if he did speak, but whether it was him speaking or him roaring, there was a voice actor for Goro in the live-action 2021 Mortal Kombat movie, and his name was Angus Sampson. That was the man who voiced Goro in the live-action 2021 Mortal Kombat movie last year. Angus Sampson. For him... Even though the Mortal Kombat 2021 live action movie was not that good as it I thought it was going to be, you know, the or I hoped for it to be good, but it didn't turn out to be that good as I thought it was going to be. I knew it wasn't going to be as good as the I mean even if it was good, I know it wouldn't be anything compared to being as good as the 1995 film, but I was hoping it would be good, but it just didn't turn out to be that good as I thought it was going to be, but you know, so the 1995 Mortal Kombat film still makes the best live action film, but you know, even though the live-action Mortal Kombat 2021 movie I didn't like that much and I didn't really care for it. However, Goro in the movie was actually incredible. He actually looked great in the movie. He looked good in the trailer and he actually looked great in the movie. In some ways, he kind of actually looked a little bit better than the, the, than the animatronic Goro they made for the 1995 Mortal Kombat film. Because the face kind of gave more like the, the video game facial features, you know what I mean? So Goro's face in the live-action 2021 Mortal Kombat movie kind of gave more of, like, his video game look, kind of like Mortal Kombat X almost. So in some ways, he in, Goro in the live-action 2021 Mortal Kombat movie actually looked a little bit better than the 1995 Mortal Kombat film Goro animatronic, but I still like the 1995 film better, so when it comes down between both designs of Goro and live-action sequels, I still prefer the 1995 Goro animatronic than the design of him in 2021 live action film although as i said the design for Goro was actually incredible he looked great in that movie and the voice acting was good too so even though the live action 2021 mortal kombat movie as i said once again was not that good but i will respectfully give angus Sampson a thumbs up because Goro looked amazing in the movie and the performance the voice acting was actually incredible so I will respectfully give Angus Sampson a thumbs up, but overall, still, Kevin Michael Richardson takes my spot for my only live-action pick for Goro. But anyway, there you have it, folks. Three picks for Goro. Kevin Michael Richardson, Ken Laley, and Vic K.O. Now, it's time for y'all to vote down below in the comments now. Let me know who you love as Goro, and don't forget to share this with all your friends to make sure you get their honest opinions as well, and you can even start a conversation down below. But anyway, oh, excuse me, I think I'm about to sneeze. Hold on, I'm probably about to sneeze. Okay, never mind, I'm good, sorry, I, I thought I was going to sneeze. But anyway, three picks for me, what's your picks? Vote now in the comments. But anyway, so it's about uh, 10.06 now, so it's getting kind of somewhat late, but I'm going to just chill for a little bit in my room. I'll watch a few more videos on YouTube on the Apple TV, and then I'll hit the bed and call it for the night, and uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow if I will do WWE 13, the Altitude Air Mode for the Wii or not. 
like I said, I'm trying to cross my fingers to hope that I'm going to cross my fingers to hope that it'll happen tomorrow. I'm sorry that I keep y'all waiting, but like I said, just be patient. As I said, it'll come soon rather than later, but we'll see what happens if tomorrow finally where I st is will be the day that I finally start it or not. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, but y'all have a good night. I'm off. Just have a good sleep, and I'll see you next time in the next video. So that'll be it for today, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Dislike it, give it a thumbs down. Join me next time in the next video. To all you boys, men, and guys out there, fist bumps go to all of you. And to all the girls, ladies, and women out there, kisses go out to all of you. But until then, this is Joe Flash, or this is Joe Flash signing off, and have a good day. Good night.